today we're going to be talking about the thermostatic expansion valve on our unit coolers. This is a critical device when operating an evaporator in refrigeration. The purpose of an expansion valve is to adjust the mass flow to the evaporator as the heat load adjusts in the room. The function of an evaporator itself is to actually absorb all the heat we're trying to remove from our refrigerated space. The fan circulates the air in the room, which is exposing the coil to our heat load. The valve here is adjusting the amount of refrigerant feeding that coil based on how the load fluctuates. How it does that is it calculates a term we call superheat at the outlet of the evaporator. As you can see, it is pre-installed here, but it is not preset. So there's two things you need to do. One is this bulb needs to be attached to the outlet side of the, of the unit cooler. It needs to be attached to the suction side of the unit cooler. Once that is attached, there is also an equalizer line that is tapped in to that same point on the system. Those are your pressure and temperature readings of the valve. It is monitoring that superheat value and adjusting mass flow as that superheat value adjusts. To set the superheat is done at the bottom housing here on a set, a set spring. There is a screw that sets the spring pressure to set your superheat. And once we achieve that, the system is set and ready for operation. We recommend a superheat setting of six to eight degrees for freezer applications and eight to 10 degrees for medium temp cooler applications.